the cord is wrapped around the neck, um, the cord is still giving oxygen to the baby through their belly button. And because the flow is going through the cord, it's not going through the baby's uh, mouth or lungs. So I think we have this idea that the cord is somehow strangling the baby. We are two women, Jana and Katie, empowering women to experience new life as Yema Mamas. We are friends sharing our own lives and learning through childbirth, motherhood, singleness, and womanhood to empower you to discover joy and spiritual well-being in all of life. You are a woman created for wholeness. Hi, this is Jana with Yema Mamas, and today I'm going to talk to you about the umbilical cord being wrapped around the neck of a baby at birth. The reason why I want to tell you guys about this subject is because there's a lot of misinformation out there and I often hear um, this story um, told by parents that say, oh, we had to do a cesarean section or emergency birth because the cord was wrapped around the neck, something like that. Um, and this is a common myth um, because we don't really understand how that works. Um, so I'm going to explain it to you guys so you understand. About 30% of babies actually have cord wrapped around their neck in the womb. And the reason why that is not a big issue um, in general is because the placenta is attached to the mom which has blood that's being oxygenated that's then passed through the umbilical cord to the baby. So the baby is getting all their oxygen and nutrition through the blood of the umbilical cord. Um, they are not getting oxygen through breathing through their lungs, through their mouth, <laughs> through this area. So in general, the umbilical cord inside the womb can be wrapped in all over different places and shouldn't be a big problem. Um, now there are times where the umbilical cord itself can have issues if it is um, being pinched or knotted or something else that would cut off the oxygen in the umbilical cord. And that is a different issue entirely. Um, because the baby's getting their oxygen from the umbilical cord, so the umbilical cord itself is very important to be intact and loose and able to have flow through the cord. However, at birth, if the cord is wrapped around the neck, um, the cord is still giving oxygen to the baby through their belly button. And because the flow is going through the cord, it's not going through the baby's uh, mouth or lungs. So I think we have this idea that the cord is somehow strangling the baby. When the baby comes out, um, the head comes out, they usually do check for an umbilical cord around the midwife or the doctor will check for umbilical cord around the neck. Now the reason why that's important as the baby's coming out is does not have to do with them breathing. It has to do with um, if the cord is very tight or getting um, or short and it is holding back the baby from coming out, if that makes sense. So it's more about tying the baby up so that it can't continue to move freely and turn and come out of the vagina. It doesn't have to do with strangling the baby. Um, so, <laughs> Just want you to understand that. So sometimes the cord can even be wrapped around multiple times. And um, that can, if it's very tight, um, can uh, prevent the baby from moving down and out in a, effectively. Um, in that case, there are ways to solve that, which is usually um, taking the cord off around the head um, so the baby can, bo the baby's body can come out, or if the cord is loose enough, just pushing the the cord of around the baby, um, so that the baby can be born through the cord. Those are the two main ways. Now, if the cord is so tight that it cannot 
actually be pulled over the head and loosened, or it can't be pushed around the baby's body, then what happens is the, the um, care provider will help the baby baby's head to stay close to the mom's thigh, kind of staying close up high, so that the baby's body can actually be borne out without um, stretching the cord. So the cord will basically stay near the vagina as the rest of the baby's body kind of flips out away. Um, and that's a way that they help the baby come out if it's very tied up. So the main issue basically with the cord being tied around the baby, baby's neck or being very tight or short is really the fact that it would prevent the baby from coming out. Um, it's it's really not about baby's oxygenation. Now, unless the um, cord has a knot in it or it's being pinched or it's so tight that it's actually stopping the flow of blood through the umbilical cord, that's a different story. Um, and that would cause um, issues with oxygenation that you would be able to see in the baby. And so there are times where that happens um, and it might be because the cord is wrapped around the baby um, too tightly or something, but the key is that the cord around the neck is not preventing the baby from breathing or getting oxygen in, in and of itself. Um, it is okay for the baby to have a cord around its neck and many babies are born that way and, it, and it's not an emergency situation. It's not a um, big medical concern. Um, it's more of just something to be aware of to help get the baby free and untangled so that it can, you know, be free and untangled and be born. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope that helps you understand um, the whole umbilical cord idea. Um, what that means is that if you, if the umbilical cord was around the neck and you did have a cesarean section, um, there's probably more to the story than the umbilical cord around the neck because many babies are born with the umbilical cord around the neck um, completely naturally and fine and it's not a problem um, and about 30% of babies have that situation in utero so it's it, that's not the whole story. So if you had a cesarean section and they said that the, the cord was around the neck that's and you know it's good information but that's probably not the reason why you had an emergency cesarean so um, you might need to go and ask more questions and look at your medical notes ask your doctor of what was actually going on um, why why the baby was in that situation if they know and why they need to do a cesarean section if they know <laughs> um, yeah, so hopefully that's helpful and hopefully this also helps you not be afraid of the umbilical cord being around the neck. Um, I'm going to link to a couple of videos in the description below where you can actually see what it looks like to um, have a baby born with the umbilical cord around the neck um, because basically you just take it off. Uh, take the umbilical cord off. Um, within a minute after the baby's born, they start to cry and that pushes fluid out of their lungs and allows them to get oxygen through their lungs. Um, and that whole process of transitioning from oxygen through the umbilical cord and oxygen through their lungs um, takes a full 10 minutes for full oxygenation, which is part of the reason why it's good to have delayed cord clamping so that baby continues getting oxygen through the umbilical cord as well immediately after birth. So I'll just say that obviously you shouldn't keep the umbilical cord wrapped around the baby. You unwrap the baby they should start crying within a minute of birth. That allows them to start breathing through their lungs and neck and mouth, and um, they will get their oxygen that way. Um, check out our other videos on that as well, the development of the baby's lungs and delayed cord clamping that might help you understand those things better, but check out the videos and see what it actually looks like to have a baby born with a cord around the neck um, totally safely. <laughs> um, yeah, so subscribe to our channel, ask questions in the comments if you want to know more, and we'll see you later.